Okay guys, first of all, Spadia is not just a YouTube channel. We have also digital products, physical products, which are going to help you about everything we talk about in these videos. You can find the two links in the descriptions below. And now let's get back to the video you came here to actually watch. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing on our month of hormones and we will have, I think, one of the most important videos I need about testosterone, which is something that has been I think, a huge focus especially among males and especially in the gym environment for the last couple of decades of course through things like testosterone replacement therapy or even anabolic steroid as well but i think it's important to especially look into ways how you can more naturally try to adjust the levels of testosterone to your own liking either to increase it or even decrease it for some people as many of those therapies or even anabolic steroids actually do mean that you will have to be on them for a lifetime at least that's as i understand it at the, at the moment especially in the case of testosterone replacement therapy for that end that you are unable to get to the previous levels of testosterone after you actually do end up finishing your testosterone re replacement therapy if you do decide to do so which can be a huge issue especially if sometimes in the future you might not have access to that but i also think it's not feasible for many people to actually e even get on any of those things uh, such as the social replacement therapy as one it can be expensive you might not have access to it and i think it's basically a second thing to do or even a last resort thing to do if your testosterone levels are really really low which also is how it's been basically meant in terms of medical field for quite a long time now the reason why we even are going to talk about ways on how you can increase testosterone is that it does have a huge volume of positive aspects especially nowadays where you can basically when compare after you do these behaviors that we'll be talking about in this video you may compare how you felt before and after what kind of changes in your own behavior you might have observed and especially what will be probably the most apparent is you wanting to take part of some different behaviors than before which especially relates to the parts that we will talk about this is the competition and also in terms of the behaviors that will give you more and higher satisfaction from your own life. Now, what's super important to first mention is that testosterone isn't obviously present in both males and females. It's just the varying aspects of the ratios between testosterone and estrogen that is that varies quite a bit between both sexes, but both sexes basically have both of those hormones. Now, since today we are only talking about testosterone, this is also going to be the main focus, but I think it's important to highlight that the ratio between testosterone and estrogen is the thing that uh, basically also impacts your uh, behavior between males and females on that end but since we are talking about this testosterone we'll be mostly focusing on the ways to actually increase that or at least on what uh, behaviors you can see from yourself to be changed if you actually do decide to increase your testosterone from from that end now the reason why i think testosterone has been very highly uh, sought after and why it increases has been very highly sought after is because it's quite closely associated with being able to take a part in competition. So this competition can even be you wanting to get a promotion at work. So you are basically competing with some other members of society for that promotion. You might be competing with other people for the same job if you are trying to get into interviews as well. But the testosterone isn't associated with you wanting to do that, but with you actually wanting to take the extra steps to actually try to accomplish that job position as you yourself will see a bit of an improvement in terms of how much your drive will increase when you will be trying to get into the job position but also probably the most basic example is the gym environment where i think the most common example is you comparing the sets or let's say even the weight that you're able to lift in the gym to your peers or to your friends which is a very common gym example that i think everyone one of us has seen already and it's just a basically part of competition as the gym itself is quite high testosterone environment once you want to get there one is because people want to improve but also the whole environment uh, does completely change your behavior and you wanting to basically do as much as you can and the best that you can is especially the mark of the gym environment as possible now, in terms of the whole testosterone on what effects or behaviors that it can actually uh, manifest itself in you it's especially close related with the fact of you taking more risks. So we've already talked about you, for example, in the gym wanting to try additional weight on, for example, the bench press, which you might not have wanted to do before. 
but it's especially cost associated with risks. As I mentioned with the job promotions, for example, you wanting to do even more work and to take risks, for example, in relationships as well. So it's very cost associated with that. And also it's cost associated with actually success as basically taking a lot more of those risks when you really, actually, I would actually assume that you don't care as much about the outcome than actually doing or taking those risks. I think it's a huge hallmark of testosterone on how it can actually improve your life in terms of you taking more action, more risk and more activity towards improving yourself and your own environment as, as well. Now, the ways how you can actually increase your testosterone is going to be very closely associated with what we've talked about in many of the episodes before. But I think this is going to be basically hallmarked. It's only those tools that do increase your testosterone and that do focus on that specifically. And basically, the first thing that I think many people still don't do is to view sunlight immediately after waking up or within at least 60 to 90 minutes of you waking up, as it's basically a huge thing that does want to touch up your day. If you do that every time after you wake up or in this time from 60 to 90 minutes, it's something that you basically do continuously every day. Of course, in the scenario that you do wake up at similar times every day, which is also a very, very important thing. But this both increases your testosterone but also increases your dopamine which we've talked about is a huge motivating factor behind your drive and you wanting to do things and both of those things paired with basically this increase of testosterone that we are talking about is a really a really huge factor because when it allows you to you wanting to take risks but also to be motivated by those risks which if you actually think about combining both of those things throughout your day is an absolutely huge i think one lifesaver but also game changer to you actually completely changing your behavior it allows you to even do things such as studying for your job or for something that you need to study for an entire day and you may not even have to for example take a break and it's very much possible to do that without even the use of some drugs or otherwise people will need to have access to in order to be able to study for the entire day but you can imagine the scenario where if you are motivated enough and also have adrenaline associated with that and also have this testosterone thanks to some of the behaviors which we're talking about right now that combination basically allows you to study for the entire day without basically any issue on that end of course i won't actually encourage that as i think taking breaks and eating and of course taking care of yourself during that time is also very very important but just make sure that to highlight the fact that it's actually possible and i've done something like that myself where you really don't care about actually taking too much rest but you're able to work throughout the entire day and that also allows you to fall very very easily asleep in the evening as you can imagine that basically stressing your mind throughout the entire day is very very taxing on our system and you just basically need to go to sleep after that so it's basically a combination of that where you are so able to get pretty much proper volume of sleep to such activities but it also allows you to basically have a consistent schedule of waking up viewing sunlight increasing you both your testosterone and dopamine and also being able to then either work or even study as i mentioned for quite a long and extended period of time now the second thing that's very very important is also food and food intake as we know that basically improving your food intake one benefits your physique already as it basically allows you to better focus on nutrition that you actually need so basically the most common hallmarks is to ditch for example fast foods or even stuff like pizzas as well which have a lot of carbs but to basically focus on meats and fats, which would be a huge thing, and also vegetables as well, but especially to have a higher intake of fats, as that helps you to basically better reg regulate your own system as well, and especially your body weight, which then feeds into all other areas and aspects of, of your life. Now, in terms of testosterone, it's quite a bit important to be able to get that food intake in check, especially because, well, one, if you do have better physique in terms of the body fat stores being uh, lower than what is the average right now, it allows you to want to feel better about yourself, but to also have higher motivation and let's say confidence, although I myself hate to use that word, to be able to go outside and to take more risks, to especially change your environment and to want to change your environment to be better and to take more risks in, in that sense as well. Now, in terms of the food intake it, itself, I think it's actually not that huge of a science, but especially just trying to avoid the sugars that we have in our diets, which is very closely associated with the fast food. It's quite a bit important. Of course, if you truly need to sometimes take a break from that diet, it's completely fine in my opinion to do that. It's always going to be better to be 100% on some kind of system that you've set up where you, for example, are even cooking for yourself, everything or preparing for yourself, everything else as well. But if you just literally don't have time for that, it's completely fine 
So you basically sometimes also take a break from your diet on that and as basically having at least I would say like 90% of the diet being in check with the food intake that we've talked about numerous times in the previous episodes as well is going to be I think sufficient at the very least but of course there's always a way to improve that. Now the third very important thing to actually do is also changing your environment or making sure that you are in an environment which supports high testosterone and what I mean by that is something we've already talked about in this episode and that is for example not being in an environment where watching the tv is as much of a thing but to instead take a part in gym in sports in especially in job positions or let's say companies or offices where there's a huge drive to perform and you also have competition in your own company so for example you might have multiple people in the same job positions where are striving to take the same promotion as well or you might be even working on the same projects and you may make up a system in your own head where it's a competition only in your own head. But basically using any of those two scenarios of ways, basically interest in competition to your own life is absolutely a huge thing. As one testosterone does increase your likelihood to win the competition, it's take part of competition, but also the competition itself works kind of in a circle where the competition itself increases your testosterone backward as well. So this is a huge thing that you can use in your own life. This is also why, for example, boxing is quite the popular nowadays or any other kind of sport that you mean that you're in part of some competition. This is also why gym is a huge thing and does increase your testosterone as well, apart from the aspect of actually increasing your muscle size, for example, and exercising your own body as well. So these are kind of a couple of behaviors that you can especially introduce to your own life. Of course, a sleep itself is very, very important and also what they all mention is consistent sleep schedule that you would be able to not just for example tell to yourself that you want to have eight hours of sleep every night but to also make sure that you are going to sleep and waking up throughout the week on every day at the same time or at least try to wake up at the same time within a 15 minute interval as well as basically one a huge way to regulate all of your hormones in the correct way as your body basically expects you to go to sleep and to wake up at, at a similar time each day it's just that if you have too much of a variant between the times when you actually do wake up and when you go to, go to sleep, for your own mind and your body, it's pretty hard to actually predict the average time that you're going to wake up. As if you vary that too much, it's basically impossible to do. And our bodies and our minds do work on a system where they try to predict quite a lot of actions that you're going to do. So for example, you might have noticed yourself that if there is something that you do after every time you wake up, so for example, if you do get a coffee every time you wake up or immediately upon waking up you might notice that on some days you might even have craving for it already before you even get to wake up get up from your bed before you even started to ingest the coffee itself and there's many other different scenarios as well so for example lunch is quite a bit of a common thing where people start to get hungry before lunch even though they do not even see food in front of themselves and this is just basically your own body trying to predict what you are going to do by basically increasing a couple of molecules in your own body and mind. Now testosterone is a huge huge thing and especially those behaviors that I mentioned of course it's not all of them but I think it's some largest ones you can incorporate into your own life but of course we'll be also making additional episodes which will be more specific towards testosterone in terms of the different areas as well which we haven't talked about in this episode yet as it's quite a bit important to also get in into those but of course if you'll have any additional questions around testosterone you might just pop down a comment uh, build this video and we'll be more than happy to answer that. So thank you guys.